Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode 96. I think I got it right this time. I, the last session I did, I got all the numbers wrong. Oh, it's the next episode. Welcome to the next episode. And we've picked up a couple of results, important results, just to secure our safety for the next season. So we lost to Millwall, 2-1. It was actually a decent game. Madison played all right, got himself a goal, but it wasn't enough. And then Hull... Um, we, <laughs> First, I got the cat hair all over me. Um, first minute own goal, and um, yeah, it was. It could have been three, four, five. But then, then my friends, we mix things up a little bit, and we smash Leeds five three away from home, which was I quite enjoyed. Lee Madison hat trick, David Atkins with a rare goal, and Adam Craddock, the advanced playmaker, with a goal as well. Very, very nice. And then we followed that up with it. It was only one nil, but it was the new Danish pastry, Kenneth Hansen, and but it was. The match that's disgusting, I think they had one shot to our 19 or something like that. It was a matter of time. We were desperate to win it. Unfortunately, Kieran Kelly got injured. He's out for a few weeks. Um, I like that you hover over and it says, line up. Good. Um, yeah, so, but we got the goal. He played 90th minutes. I rested Leslie. He's just gone off the boil a little bit, which is fair enough. He's been absolutely amazing this season. Today, though, my friends... Today is cat hair all over my face day. Unfortunately, Midge is very ill at the moment. Um, our cat, he's uh, had an abscess. He's older cat. He's had an abscess on his tooth, which we think has come out, but it's actually closed up and has shifted his jaw. So his bottom fang is now almost central. It looks weird. And so he's on lots of medication at the moment. He can't really have an operation because of his epilepsy and his, all his other problems. So wish him well in the comments. Um, it's just a sort of, he can cope with it. If he can cope with it and he's, it, it's fine, then he should be all right. Um, but he can't really go under general anesthetic cause it, it's too dangerous. So yeah, so fingers crossed everything's okay, but I've been giving him lots of snuggles and I'm covered in white cat hair now. Right. Okay. My friends, we might have the best youth intake there has ever been. I have seen the news items. I can completely forgot it was youth intake day or well, it's the second um i haven't looked at the players though but i'll let you see it yourself right yeah the best player in our youth intake is tom jones <laughs> yes my friends it's not unusual no no it's tom jones my friends a golden generation i'm not i'm not getting my hopes up because we've had these before and they've been less than gold and more sort of wood plastic level. But let's go and have a look, boys. Let's go and have a look. <gasps> oh, oh, now. Hello. Hello, lads. OK. OK. Tom Jones is a right midfielder as well, which is not too bad at all. We've got a, a centre mid attacking left. Good. We've got a very attacking potentially striker. We've got a goalkeeper. We've got another striker, maybe. And a central midfield. Elvis Boaki. <gasps> Danwood, Ray Gerrard, Eddie Cos Cosilo, Henry Jackson. That's a bit dull, isn't it? Right. Oh, I'm excited, boys. I'm excited. Who do we look at first? Let's just go down the list. They're all 15 and 16. We've got no 14-year-olds. So the best one is is apparently the least one. But he's already two-star. Is he going to be centre? Is he going to be a winger? Boom. Okay. He's got terrible determination, but that's one of the things easiest things to fix. Give him a tutor with somebody with high determination. We can fix that, right? His mentals are... Well, mental. Oh, I like this guy. I'm liking it. He's really pacey. He's got 10s and 12s in important areas at the age of 15. His work rate's a little bit low. His technique could be, could be worked on. Oh, I'm liking him, boys. I am very much liking Tom Jones, Sir Tom Jones. Let's get you signed up, sir. Oh, even if the other rest turn out to be crap, I am. I'm happy with that. Next up, we've got Henry Jackson. <laughs> um, he is an attacking playmaker. He's got a very good first touch. The rest, yeah, okay. I think he, he has potential, but he's going to need quite a bit of work, I think. He's fairly determined. He's fairly loyal. He's a bit more attacking. Gives us another option. Can play on this left-hand side, but as what? He's right-footed, so he'd have to be an inside forward, but he can't finish his composure's okay. Okay, so I think he would play more. What's his par? Passing's okay, so playmaker potential. He's got eights, nines, and above. That first touch is really special, but 
yeah, okay. Could potentially be a squad player. I don't see him becoming a superstar. Next up, we've got Big Eddie, right? Um, is he going to be a striker? He's a winger. Oh, dear. Okay. That's... He's two-footed. Okay, he's two-footed. I found a silver line in there, lads. I was searching for something. He's relatively got decent pace, and he's two-footed. That's all I've got, lads. He's got one concentration. That's hard to be that <laughs> low. Okay, next. This could be good, because we do need a long-term goalkeeper. Even if he ever, only ever becomes our reserve goalkeeper, I'd be happy with that. He's Dane's Rage Island. He's only 15. He's already two-star ability. Be off. Good. Ooh, okay. Okay. Area reach. Third. How big? How tall is he? Six foot one. He's 15 years old, remember. Amazing determination. He's got good area reach. Command of areas, good communications, okay. First touch is meh. Handling, really good. So his distribution is pretty turd. Throwing is six. Kicking is six. But at the moment, we're not really rolling it out of defence, playing like Man City, Liverpool way, are we really? Kick it. Um... One-on-ones is nine. That's not too bad. Reflexes is ten. That's decent. His physicals are decent. His decision-making's good. Positioning is an issue. Positioning's an issue. Anticipation's not great. But he, okay, he's definitely, definitely worth a shout. He could be a decent goalkeeper. Next up, we've got Big Danny Wood. I don't know why I said big. In the, oh, okay, he's got 50. It's a striker with 15 finishing, 12 composure, 11 first touch. His physicals unusually are what let him down. His mentals are okay. His, there's nothing terrifically bad, but that's going to need a lot of work. But he is only 15. He could be decent. Oh, this is this is our best youth intake, I think, overall. Now, Elvis. Uh -huh. What are you, son? What are you? You're a, play, you're a central midfielder. 18 determination. Left-footed. First touch is great. Passing is fantastic. Technique is fantastic. Is he not more of a playmate? He's definitely more of a... Ooh. Ooh, his mentals, though, lads. Yeah. Yeah, this... Okay. He could be one of those players that's so good at other stuff that has big holes in his game. But overall, I am very, very, very pleased with that. I'm I'm excited by Tom Jones. I've got to be honest. I never thought I'd say that in a sentence. Right. Okay. Okay, boys. I'm happy with that. Okay, we're going to go on to the... Uh, did I give him more new contract? I did, didn't I? I'm not, I don't want to sign everyone that's in the youth team. But let me just check that last guy, just in case my staff are being idiots. Because there was a four-star potential one. I should probably just check out. Daniel Nielsen. He's a centre-back stroke striker. You know they're going to be good. With four finishing, six composure and seven. Okay, he's not a striker in any way, shape or form. He's, he's not really a centre-back either, is he, to be honest? We'll get a bit of team filler, right? We'll need a, we'll need a centre-back striker in the uh, <laughs> youth team. The rest we won't bother with. Right, okay. Oh, I'm so pleased. That's so good. So good. If we look at the uh, table now, it is all going rather... <sighs> Pavsky wants first team football and he's starting to kick up a fuss I've got him on a backup but he you know as backup he's had seven sub appearances and a league cup appearance I, I think for as a backup you would that's about what you would think you might get is it you are literally backup <laughs> I don't know why this has confused him quite so much um he might have to leave if he's just going to keep kicking up a fuss I can't just keep him here forever I think he might have to leave. I'm giving Thomas Shakes... Look, so here's the league table. This is my plan, lads. So we're sitting 14th, but we're pretty comfortable. We're on 46 points now, so we're 16 points above the old relegation. Um, looks like there's a bit of a gap here as well, so unless Sunderland pull their hands out of us, I think they might struggle. Looks like Swansea are five points clear. Huddersfield, Preston are battling for that second spot. We are 17 points behind playoffs, so I think that's pretty much... Not good happen. But what I'm doing is I'm basically giving players that I want to develop, that I want to settle into the team, some young players game time, that sort of thing. Um, so the Danish guys we're bringing in, giving them plenty of game time. I'm also, I'm, I'm, I'm always giving up on getting Gareth Morrison because I wanted to make him a centre-back. But 
his heading is just taking so long to improve and having seven seven heading as a centre back is not ideal. Um, his jumping reach is fine. So what he might end up just being is a pretty non-attacking uh, fullback, I think. Because he's got the stamina. He's going to run all day. He's got a good work rate. He's got those sort of... I think it just might be a right back, I think. He's got everything to be a right back. I just thought he could do the... I don't like the lack of pace and acceleration is is one of the problems I've got with him. But he'll do. I think, anyway, I don't think, I don't think he's ever going to be a superstar, to be honest. He's, he's, maybe. He's got the potential... But even if not, he can be a backup centre back, backup right back. Um, so I'm playing him at right back for a few games, see how he does. Um, Bjaran Jakobsen is uh, going to play centre back again. He's playing all right. Kim Pedersen's just getting settled in. He took a knock. Joshua Osborne's playing really well at the moment. It's good to see the youngster coming through and getting some game time, playing well. I know a bunch of you in the comments have been asking to see him a bit more. So uh, that's nice. Kim Kelly's injured, unfortunately. So the Hitman's going to come back in. They've been sort of rotating the role of that sort of balling midfielder. Because I, I want to, you've got to give these youngsters game time, and I'm I'm in that lucky position where I can I can just play anybody now, like anybody that I want to have a few games to develop all that sort of stuff I can just chuck them straight in really. So, um, so I could give a Pavsky a couple of games. Can I? Now I want to play Joshua. That's the problem. Joshua Os Osborne is only 21. He's got tons to develop. So I want to. So I want to kind of keep him improving. Um, at the others, there's nobody really that I think is going to be amazing. So we're just going to play this team. Um, Hansen's going to play another game. He was man of the match last time out with that late winner, which is good. Um, question, what's the question? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I try, I, a couple of times he's come to me saying he wanted more first team football and I, I got my player to intervene and he dropped it. But this time it was like, he, and I couldn't persuade him otherwise. How? Okay. Uh, blind. I don't know which one I picked. Lucky dip. Right. Press stone. Third. Battling for automatic promotion. This could be scary game, boys. This could, got to be honest. This could be a scary game. I think what we'll do now is we'll play this game, um, and then next episode we will probably um, just go to the end of the season and we'll play the last game of the season a little last hurrah unless we fall into some horrific relegation battle that's out of nowhere or playoff um but i think it's going to be like a non-finish so we'll skip ahead come back for the last game and then talk about what we want to do next season finances are looking okay we're into the red but it's all it's all okay i'm not too worried about it projections still shite but we'll see i don't think projections take into account prize money that's what i have kind of deducted from this game. Uh, yeah, so what I was saying about Thomas Shakespeare is that I think I'm going to sell him at the end of the season, but he's worth half a million quid. So he came to me asking first team football, and I said, you know what? Yes, actually, I will play you a bunch at the back end of the season because I don't want his value to drop. I wanted to get him wanted by team so we can sell him at the end of the season. So even though we've got the uh, young Danish kid and we've got Craddock, I think... Uh, Thomas Shakespeare is doing a job. It's a shame because he, he was so good. He was really good, Thomas Shakespeare. And then we bought in the, um, what's his face, uh, Craddock, and he's just even better. So if it's half a million quid, then that's decent. That pays for like a corner. It doesn't it doesn't pay for a corner, does it? The stand pays for like the burger van or something. Right, I'm not expecting too much from this game. I'll take a draw, got to be honest. Come on, boys. Oh, we've, played, we've played really well the last two games, so there's always a chance. Shakespeare, acres of room. Nice. Osborne, lovely ball down there. Hanson chases. And also, I, oh, it's a nice ball across. Madison should have cut across there. Um, what I like about Hanson, he's not the world's best striker or anything, but he brings, he's a defensive, natural defensive forward. He brings something else. Because naturally, both Leslie and Madison are advanced forwards, and that's kind of their game. I'm sort of forcing Madison to play as a bit more of a deep line forward, although that's not ideal. I think it works better for the team. So if we can have somebody that gives us a different different way of playing a little bit, I'll be very well happy. All right, Aggie. That's it. Closing down, lads. Go on. McCormack. Ball across. Cleared away. Jakobsen. Nice one. Hansen to Madison. A lot of work to do. 
He's making a good run, though. On the volley. Oh, what a save that is. That's a worldie. What a save. What a hit as well. Hansen done the look half. Mm bop. Skip it up. Yeah, mm bop. Yeah. Brilliant. Topical reference there, lads. Um, I'm just going to encourage. We've had a super season, I think. With the team we've got and the budget, I think we've had an amazing season. As somebody asked in the comments if we were going to go bankrupt. I'm hoping that the board... Oh, OK, maybe we're not playing him. I'm hoping the board wouldn't agree to a stadium that would bankrupt them. Maybe I'm putting too much faith into my board, but I'm assuming we'll get out alone <laughs> um, and it will all be fine. We might have to work on a budget for the next couple of years. Um, is it Olsen? Yeah. OK, well, we tried playing Shakespeare. We gave it a go. But it's 0-0 at half-time, and we are the much better side with two clear-cut chances. Loving that, boys. If we can just finish it now. Make a little late run. That'd be lovely. Wasn't expecting it. Okay. <sighs> Definitely not expecting it. Offside? Offside? Yes! It's not going to count. He pushed another player like a big naughty boy. Oh, okay, yeah, never in doubt, lads. Never in doubt. Okay, they're, they're, they're coming on to us a bit, and I don't like it. Winners. Oh, try for a header. Why are you running the... Op okay, that's that's just an irritating goal to concede. Why is my player not trying to head that ball? Where are we? So this guy here, Pritchard... He's got the run on him. He's running in the right direction. The ball's coming down. But then... Just leaves it. Just didn't fancy it. Did not fancy it. You heard a shout from the other guy that's five yards further behind him. Good stuff. Good teamwork, lads. <clears throat> yeah, the second half, they, we, they seem to have woken up. They probably got a rollicking from their manager at half-time. Mm-mm. Come on, boys. Oh, it's getting... Oh, pick up. It's, it's, it's too easy, lads. David, pick up. Has, has, has picked up his second... No, it doesn't. I'm not even going to make that joke. Right. Let's show some passion, lads. Come on. Um, Go on, then, McChrystal. You can have a little bit of game time. God, I think McChrystal's manager is Jamie Vardy. Every week, there's an email saying I'm not playing him enough. It's just like, we'll recall him then. Just fucking, he keeps threatening to recall him. Just do it, you absolute knobby, knob, head, knobby thing. Right? Big knobby knob thing. Unlucky, boys. Expected result. Did well in the first half, but their greater quality showed through in the end. Cut the lovely spins there for no apparent reason. And we're going to see it out. Oh, so let me know, guys, in the comments. Who do you think? Who do you think? What do you think of our youth intake there? Who do you think's got it, what it takes to maybe become an altering player? I think we've got definitely got one. Tom Jones looked epic. There's a couple of others that I think could be decent. The goalkeeper looks good, which is really nice. I'm just happy to have a. Remember, we're in the championship now, so they have to be a certain caliber of individuals to. to to even think about making this team in a couple of years. Um, mind games. Okay, how are you? Okay, five to seven days, fine. Fine, not paying for treatment, mate. I'm selling you at the end of the season. Right, there we go, my friends. Like I said, we're going to skip on now to the end of the season unless we get dragged into a 16-point. We're not, are we? We're not. Are we? No, no. Because there's nine games left. We're six. No, it can't happen. But if it does, I'll come back. But if not... I think we'll I'll do a bunch of games. We'll come back for the sort of Bradford City game. Talk about how everyone's got on. All that good stuff. I might even sort of chuck in a couple of those youngsters we bought through. Why not? Why not give them a bit of game time? A taste of the life at Altrincham. The, the majesty of playing for the mighty red and white stripes. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.